Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. Icon Swaps number two is finally here. It's finally coming out today. We're getting Icon Swaps too. We are getting Icon Moments as well, and possibly Winter Upgrades, maybe a Winter Refresh Team. We will see. We need some more information from EA, unless they're going to drop it last second from us about that Winter Refresh Team. That looks a bit unlikely, but I want to talk through what we know for sure. That is Icon Swaps 2 is coming. We have new packs that EA have added, the Icon Moments card design, and I want to talk about winter upgrades too because I seriously think with the addition of a couple cards today that are searchable on the transfer market, one specifically, I think there might be winter upgrades coming today, and I just hope that EA does it like they did two years ago and give out plus one and plus two upgrades. But Icon Swaps is what we're all interested in, of course, because this has been... Uh, what everybody's been waiting for for the past week or so since Icon Swaps 1 ended. Since it ran so long, I think people were re just ready for Icon Swaps 2. This is, of course, the swap token card that was made available, and this is the Prime Icon Moments card design. It's honestly, if you compare it back to back, uh, with uh, Footwatch tweeted this out as well, if you put, if you put it back to back with the um, Icon, normal Icon card design, check this out. It's honestly almost the same. You can kind of, It's hard to see behind my face cam, but um, this card right here, the only difference is you've got that little gold part at the top. Here, I'll put my camera away for a second. Boom. You can see the gold part at the top and then like this etching around the outsides. Other than that, the card is almost exactly the same. It's crazy uh, that those two cards are that alike. So those are the first two things that are confirmed. And one thing that we saw earlier today was that we were able to search for Prime Icon Moments cards on the transfer market. Like if I type an A here, you can see Pele's Icon Moments card with the version comes up here. If I type Maradona, you can see his card shows up here with the image. Now, one thing I will say before I will say about this is just like last year, even though Maradona shows up as a 98 rated card right here, it does not mean his card in game is going to be a 98 rated card because Last year, they had the same exact thing, and his overall said 98, but he actually had a 99. Same thing with, like, Ronaldinho. He got a bigger upgrade last year. So if you're seeing these cards right now and you're saying, yo, they're only giving plus one to all these icon moments, or like last year, Thierry Henry was a 95. This year, he shows, shows as a 94. He might actually still be a 95. It just depends uh, on what EA put him out as. You can't always go by that rating that shows on the transfer market for that card. Now, one other thing we got tonight regarding icon swaps, uh, but since we have the icon moments card design out, by the way, those should be in packs today. I think we're expecting at least one batch, if not all of them, in packs today. It might just be one batch, though. We will see. Unless EA is going to run a promo next Friday, then they might just put them all in packs today. But they added more packs for icon swaps. Now, the first one, the first two packs here are kind of interesting. A three silver players pack, one rare, and a four common gold players pack. Interesting, right? Okay, whatever. Then we have one, we have a couple of very, very interesting packs, right? Contains one icon moments player. So basically an icon moments player. Now this opens up the potential for that to be a pack in icon swaps, which we would expect, but also down the road, an SBC for a guaranteed icon moments player. That pack is now in the game, so EA can use that however they want. They also added the contains one prime or moments icon pack. So we would also expect those packs available through icon swaps. And this is where the opinions start to come out because we had a 91 plus prime icon moments pack. Let's, make, let's think about that for a bit, right? A 91 plus prime icon moments pack. I went in and I looked at the prime icons. There's a lot of prime icons that are over 91 rated. We have the full first two pages of icons over 91 rated, you still have some cards in here that you really would not want to pack, right? Laudrup, Clivert, Klosa, Rush, you know, you have guys in there. If we go back to page two, you've got Lineker, who's a 92, uh, Puyol, 92, Burkamp, 92, Schmeichel, um, you, Alan Shearer, Paul Scholes, Perez, right? Michael Owen, Trezeguet, not the most OP, Raquel May, not the most OP in meta icons that you want to get, but also a 91 plus icon pack, you would not be able to get Petit, Makalele, Rio Ferdinand, Essien Prime, Reichard Prime, Luis Hernandez Prime. So there are some Prime cards that have 90 rated items that would be left out if you did this 91 plus Prime pack. So I'm not sure unless that pack is kind of juiced. Not sure how much like hype there is around that pack right there. Um, then the, this is the one that people got a little bit bent out of shape about and people aren't happy about because 
last swaps, we had the 85 times 5 and the 83 times 25. Now, they added two more packs here. They added the 81 plus 25 and the 82 plus 25. So, it makes us think that maybe they're going a step backwards with the swaps. Now, obviously, the 83 times 25 and the 85 times 5 are still available and still have been added to the code. So, EA could put those packs back into icon swaps whenever they want to. So them adding the 81 plus 25 and the 82 plus 25 doesn't necessarily mean that those are gonna be our only two packs available from swaps, but it does make me think a little bit. I wonder with the first set of icon swaps, if they saw the completion percentages for just how many people were taking the packs, right? For how many people took the 83 times 25 and the 85 times five, I'm wondering if they really wanna minimize that and make icon swaps more truly about icons. Cause that was the, the first time they ever dropped icon swaps last year, it was all about icons, right? Whether it's through a pack or whether it's through getting an actual icon card through swaps and that has kind of changed especially since for this first time when they released the 83 times 25 and the 85 times 5 in the first icon swaps of fifa 21 so i'm wondering if they will give us worse packs for like legit packs not icon packs um because they just want to keep icon swaps you know more specific to icons now i can understand that but of course once you give us something that's this good and then you pull the reins back and, and give us something that's not as good further on into the game people are gonna be upset. And I totally understand that. So we'll just kinda of have to watch and see what comes out with those packs today. But those are my thoughts on those right there. Um, also, along with icon swaps, some people have been asking me, how do you invest for icon swaps? You really, you really can't because a lot of the objectives, if not all of the objectives, are first owner. Now, some of them are, you know, they have some different ones out there and who knows what EA will do this time, but, it looks like it probably will be all first owner objectives, kind of how it's been in the past. One thing I will say, a lot of the community is in agreement on this. The golden goal stuff is huge, right? If you're doing objectives, if you're in, of course, those friendly modes, golden goal is very, very nice. And people are very friendly if you do golden goal. Uh, and that's something that I think people want to continue. Now, what we saw with the last set of icon swaps was EA was kind of doing a few things to try to decrease the amount of golden goal that you could do I wonder if we're gonna see that even to a higher degree that time around today. So just be prepared for that. If EA put some game caps on any of the, the friendly modes that they will release today, um, along with icon swaps, that might be something we could see uh, with that as well. But let's move on to talk about winter upgrades and stuff like that, because I feel like if they're dropping icon moments, that's a really high tier thing. And if they're dropping icon swaps, that's more for everybody. But just like they did last year with winter refresh, I think they have to include the player upgrades. Um, possibly they'll do the new foot additions. Um, but I think there just has to be more than just icon moments and icon swaps today. At least I hope there is. Now, one thing I wanna point out first of all is Edison Cavani is searchable, right? Edison Cavani has an 84 rated card. He has not been able to be searched at all this year. I think they added him in uh, alongside of all the icon moments that they added in with one of those recent squad updates. But this makes me think that they're going to be adding some sort of new cards today. Some people were thinking, hey, it might be winter refresh. So if we do get like a winter refresh card design added to the code, then hey, we'll talk about it and we'll say, then there is a possibility for an actual winter refresh team or promo cards to come out. But as it honestly looks right now, we might not be getting promo cards today. I haven't seen any winter refresh code dropped yet, but ad adding Cavani makes me think that they might be doing, they might be doing winter upgrades today. And my only hope for that is, is that they include cards that have plus one and plus two upgrades and not just plus three and above. Because as it sits right now on the market, a lot of these cards that could get upgraded and have special cards that could get upgraded in FIFA are still pretty cheap. I'm looking at Joao Felix, right? This 84 rated card could go to an 86 if he gets a plus two, if they're doing the plus one and plus two ratings, right? So what you might see, and this could be a crazy, crazy Friday for this, if winter upgrades are actually coming out and they are gonna give plus ones and plus twos, we had a video earlier on how to kind of know when a card will get a winter upgrade. I'll link that video down in the description if you wanna learn more about that really quick today before they could potentially drop that. Um, there might be a crazy opportunity at 6 p.m. today if there's really no leaks about winter upgrades 
if they're doing those upgrades and these cards aren't invested in that are going to be getting an upgrade, there are plenty of cards right now on this game uh, that could get plus ones or plus twos and even plus threes that would have massive, massive price increases if EA did upgrade those cards. I look at Bruno Fernandez, right? This 88 Bruno Fernandez is going for right around 500,000 coins right now. He was 470 earlier this week. I look at his other uh, in form, which is an 89 rated card. If Bruno Fernandez gets a plus one from his gold card going from an 87 to an 88, both of these informs, all of Bruno Fernandez's special cards would get an upgrade if that was the case. Now he's 685 right now. He's a bit more expensive, but there's plenty of other cards out on the market that could be getting plus ones, plus twos, and that would boost up their special items. So maybe do a little bit of research. This Kunde is one card that I think is flying under the radar, right? Of course, he's got the uh, objective card that everybody likes and they love, but Kunde is due for a plus two upgrade, and that would boom possibly this 82 rated inform to an 84. Now, it all depends on the ratings of the new cards and stuff like that. But just throwing a couple names out there Bruno Fernandez, of course, Joao Felix, uh, Sun are three big time players that could be getting upgrades if EA do winter upgrades correctly. So I'm just saying the potential for that is out there. Definitely, definitely watch. Uh, that today. Now, let's talk about market for a second because we had a crazy, crazy day of road to the final yesterday. A lot of these RTTF cards moved like incredible amounts. It was such fun on stream. If you were there, we had so much fun watching this Renato Sanchez going up and down because of the crazy game between Ajax and Lille. Uh, these cards are going to continue to fluctuate and a lot of these guys are not going to get updated until next week. But one thing we could see today, content wise, on a Friday is the upgrade for the UCL cards, UCL items, right? Wijnaldum, Salah, um, who else? Wijnaldum and Salah are the two that are coming to mind right now. I know there's a, there's a one other road to the final. Oh, Draxler and Icardi with PSG winning the first leg of the uh, UCL Champions League, right? Champions League cards are the only ones that are gonna get updated. They could be updating these today. So watch Wijnaldum going up plus one, Salah plus one, and then Draxler and Icardi plus ones as well. Keep an eye on those cards. No Europa League Road to the Finals will get updated until next week after the round of 32, headed into the round of 16. So we'll kind of keep that in mind. But these cards went on incredible, incredible price fluctuations today. There was a lot of panic selling actually after the games as well. This Renato Sanchez right now is 970,000 coins. He was 1.5 mil at one point today. When Lille scored on stream, I, I missed this card at 1.3 mil on a snipe or as he was rising up, he sold later at 1.55 and went all the way back down to 900k flat. 900k flat today. After the game and after the panic selling, people were listing these cards up because they knew that they weren't going to get that upgrade or it was not as easy for them to get that upgrade. But as a lot of games happened yesterday in Europa League, and even with like, you could say Leipzig and the um, Liverpool match, some of these teams that lost round one are still in it, right? Lille is down two to one, right? And yes, they do not have, they have the, or Ajax have the away goals advantage with two away goals, but a two to one advantage is not something that has never been overcome, right? You have guys like Napoli, Koulibaly, who was down at 450K and who has kind of rebounded back up to about 510,000 coins. You're seeing these fluctuations because these cards are just so rare. And, um, you know, they're, they're, they're still live items and they still have a chance. I think what you're honestly going to see is these guys are going to continually rise back up into their games next week. So if you see any more dips in price on these cards, I actually bought another promise. I bought three, I bought five promise today. Not sure where I got three from. I bought five road to the final promise cards today at 240,000 coins. I got one at 220 and I sold them all for 280 except for one of them. Um, and I bought another one tonight at 240 because this guy was selling at 280. He and Ajax are ahead of Leal and he dropped back down to literally where he was before the game. I think this card's going to rise throughout the weekend and into next week, especially if we don't get a lot of content today, people are going to be looking to invest on the market. Now, again, let's talk about one more content piece and then we'll spend a couple minutes talking about market movements with icons today. I think you can see too. One thing we might be expecting today is Bundesliga player of the month. And hopefully, 
it is better than Bulaya because we were not expecting this player of the month yesterday. Uh, and that is very interesting because um, nobody thought he would win. They thought it would be Voland or Neymar. And supposedly this guy had 40% of the votes and won over Neymar who had 36. So hopefully Bundesliga player of the month, if it does come out today, is Sancho or somebody legit, somebody cool. Uh, and a good price SBC so that we have something kind of cool as an SBC to interact with. But one thing we could also see today is a new icon uh, upgrade SBC because the base or mid goes away tomorrow. And also I think there's a mid icon SBC that is still out or maybe it expired yesterday. Uh, but all of the icon SBCs are going to expire like the upgrade SBCs. Now we still have these guys back here. Kaka, Owen, and Keen, and maybe we get uh, added to these today. Maybe they add icon moments to the actual icon SBCs. So, you know, since we get closer to icon moments territory, it makes us think about uh, EA requiring icons for SBCs. And that's one area of the market that I want a lot of you guys to be looking at today is the icon market because not just buying cheap icons for a potential required SBC, because these are up a little bit. Usually they're around 140K, and it looks like right now they're around 150. I'm not saying that this is coming. I'm just saying it looks like people are preparing. But I will say, um, just watch for panic selling today, right? If there are icon moments that are coming out, 100% be on the lookout for panic selling today. Now, right away, we don't have the icon moments search filter in here yet. Uh, so it might be kind of interesting to find the actual icon cards until we have that icon moment search filter um, on the market. But Watch out for panic selling today, especially on baby and middle icons, because um, the icon moments when they come into packs today are going to be very expensive. So if you think about a prime icon card that might get panic sold, uh, that a lot of people like to use, it might be this prime Desai, right? Very popular center back in FIFA. Um, and a lot of you know pros use this card. I remember Anders was using this card early in the game. He's 1.6 mil, down from what he used to be at like 1.8. Um, you know, maybe you see this guy down at like 1.5, 1.5 mid with some panic selling this morning. Um, a lot of the prime icon moments are going to be very expensive right away. So I would not be surprised if you saw some panic selling and then a buyback on that. And again, since the focus today is icon swaps, icon moments, there's going to be a lot of people just thinking about icons, maybe wanting to try some of them out. So you, you might want to look at baby icons as well, right? I think of Ronaldinho who was a baby icon that a lot of people like to try out. This guy is out of packs, of course, has been out of packs since December. And, you know, maybe see panic selling on a baby icon card today, like 1.4 flat for this Dino. I'm going to add that to my transfer targets because I know I might be able to flip that later tonight or if there's panic, right? Look at your baby icons range in price all over the place, right? You look at like baby Lam or baby Schweinsteiger. You know, some of these guys are like 300,000 coins. So even if you're not on a huge budget, you can still take a look at some of these baby icons and possibly trade with them today. It's not just uh, icons that are crazy, crazy high in value, right? Look at icons from popular leagues, popular nations. Schweinsteiger has got one of the best dynamic images for his uh, upcoming Prime Icon Moments card. So you're going to see a little bit of you know hype around Schweinsteiger a little bit. Maybe his cards rebound a little bit better after 6 p.m. today. I'm just kind of throwing that out there, not saying it will happen. Just watch for panic selling on icons today. And for the rest of the market, I would say 100% watch these future stars because these guys just got packed. They're the newest special items in FIFA. They're rebounding back up a little bit out of packs, but of course, uh, maybe some people will be wanting to buy these for their teams. And if people that like to invest on FIFA are gonna be bored, one of the number one things they're going to want to do is buy cards that were just in packs that could rise out of packs. So be careful this weekend. You might have a lot of people wanting to invest in these cards and the current week team of the week if it's kind of a low key weekend with not a lot of content. But that's kind of all the stuff that I wanted to talk about today and stuff that could be coming. Again, we're not so sure about a little legit winter refresh promo, but icon moments 100%. Icon swaps to 100% and possibly winter upgrades. Hopefully it can spice it up something else with that in there, but it's probably going to be a little bit of a quieter day on FIFA. Probably still a lot of fluctuations to be had on the market. A lot of trades you'll be able to do. So of course, use your best judgment and you probably will see a decently, um, the market didn't really rise at all yesterday after rewards. It was kind of, it was kind of bad. Honestly, uh, you might see a bit of a higher market though, unless some big SBCs come out or EA drops a bomb on us tomorrow with some sort of content, you might see the market kind of rise up into the night because again, extra weekly player picks are on the line. 
even though the play the team of the week isn't that good a lot of people will probably be interested in snagging some of those players. So Icon Swaps is here today, boys. We'll be looking at some of the best choices that you can make from Icon Swaps 2 tomorrow. We'll be live streaming it all, of course, on the link below, twitch.tv backslash the foot accountant. If you enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up, comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Accountant, and I will catch you guys later. Peace out.